so keeping with the basic type of concept here and uh, where we can start from as far as a simple climbing system. So again, we, we have this 16 strand rope and the end of the rope is right here. So roughly probably six, six and a half feet or so from the end of the rope. Uh, we're gonna tie a cinching knot and this is where we will uh, use a carabiner or a snap to connect the rope to our saddle so we can have a proper connection okay and for a cinching knot it's basically a knot that as we apply weight to the system and to the knot it's going to cinch down tighter okay and the nice thing about this is it's going to help to keep your connector properly aligned so you're not cross-loading a carabiner or something like that. Okay, so now we're left with a tail right here. Okay, and we're going to tie a Blake's hitch. And uh, for this distance right here is going to be determined of how tall you, a person you are, how long your arms are, okay, because uh, you're going to have to be able to advance this prussic and then you're also going to have to be able to grab the top of it to descend. Okay, so a Blake's hitch is a simple friction hitch to tie. Okay, so again, we have this tail end of this part of the rope and find it easy if you just wrap two loops around your thumb and then two loops around the rope itself. Okay, cross over and then on the back side of the bottom two loops, you'll pass that tail through. Okay, and so now We'll just snug everything up and dress it nicely, okay? A little bit of weight to set it. And then on this tail, this is called an open system because the end of this rope is not attached or secured, okay? So to prevent this from rolling back through, if this friction hitch were to get loose at any point in time during our climb, we wanna tie a stopper knot on the end of this tail. Okay, <clears throat> and so that is a traditional moving rope system, very basic, uh, but it's a great type of system to, to learn on. Uh, one, you're learning how to tie this specific type of friction hitch. Uh, you also begin to gain some appreciation as you progress through different climbing systems. You're going to figure out uh, how much more efficient you can become by adding simple things to this type of system. Um, it's also a really good system to understand and, and know how to, to set up because even if you're on a mechanical device while you're up in the tree but you need to get over to another part of the tree to work, um, you can actually use the tail end of your climbing line to then bring up, set through another union, and tie this same exact setup so then you're working off of two systems. So even as basic as this is, it's still very important to know how to utilize this, how to set it up. Um, so again, this is a traditional moving rope system. Uh, nothing particularly special about it, but you will find that adding simple things along the way will help increase the efficiency and the ease of use with this.